How's it going, everybody? I'm Mega Metal Man X, and welcome back to another episode of Luminous Avenger X. Yep, that's right. It looks the same as my first video. That's because I had so much fun with the first episode that I decided to play another one right after. When it comes to Mega Man games, or me and Mega Man games, yeah, there's no stopping me from overplaying them. Anyways, we beat Rebellio on the last episode. That was the first official boss. So now we're going to go for the second boss. But first, let's talk some more. See if we get any new scenarios. Come to think of it, everyone here is wearing something yellow. Are you coordinating your outfits? Kohaku made them. My ribbon? Kyoto's scarf and Jin's backpack? Wow, now that you mention it, Kohaku is always wearing yellow, isn't she? Well, not really. <coughs> I'm sexy. <clears throat> yep, I love yellow. Kohaku's clothes might be yellow, but she's still showing a lot of skin. Wow, he's bold. <laughs> I didn't think anyone's going to address that, that she's dressed so sexually. I thought I was the only one who was going to do that, but oh well. Thanks, I guess. Could she have made that ribbon and everything else from... Hmm? What's up? You've been staring at my stomach. Oh. It, it's nothing. Copen feels the warmth inside him. Yeah, he does. A warmth inside him, alright. A warmth right down... On top of a smoky... <clears throat> about enough about that. Uh... Yeah, I, 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 I'm gonna try not to make this super awkward. Anyways, the next boss. Time to engage. What the hell is an auto fab plant, anyway? From what we were told, Sumeragi cut the power to this factory ages ago, but here it is, still chugging right along. Which got me thinking that they might have some spare energy supplies just lying around, you know? Let's get in there, grab the good stuff, and bring it back home! Wait, I'm detecting some enemies. Seems like Sumeragi's troops have something they're after, too. Seriously? Ugh, they have the worst timing! Getting real tired of seeing these chumps! You can dash downwards, right? Uh, okay, there's no need for that now. <laughs> Shit. That's the reason I couldn't. There we go. I don't know, I feel like Copen is sort of like a prejudiced Mega Man with Cloud's personality. That's basically Copen in a nutshell. Like, he seeks out to eradicate all adepts because he thinks they're all dangerous. When, in truth, that's not... that's not true at all. Because Gunvolt is not evil. Or is he? We don't know. Nah. 
I'm just sort of screwing around. I highly doubt he's evil. Holy shit, that's a lot of money. I could probably unlock some new skills now. Yeah, so Copen's yeah, basically just a prejudiced a prejudiced Mega Man who thinks all adepts should die. And yeah, he's got Cloud's personality, like, uh, I don't care. I'm not interested. Whatever. In fact, even Gunvolt was pretty angsty in um in the second game. It seems the Japanese have a thing for video games with angsty characters. Seems everything explodes here. At least those barrels do. Now what does this new power do? Oh, it's these rooms. Yeah, if you lock onto that and destroy it, then you don't have to destroy the enemies that it spawns. Whoa! It's like I just turned myself into a human drill missile. So dashing towards the enemies causes, like, beginning damage before I even start to shoot them. It almost kills them off in one hit. Holy shit! That's powerful. That's probably something I'm not going to use that often, maybe just in pinch situations. Because I more or less like to just lock onto enemies without hurting them, and then shooting the crap out of them. I actually was going to do my own playthrough of Gunvolt 2 on YouTube, because at the time, before that game even came out, was it three or so years ago? I had the idea of getting a capture card for my 3DS. But, I don't know, that didn't go over so well. In the end, I just thought, eh, it's too expensive, too complicated to set up. But then other people would say, oh, Mega, that's how you get popular. Like, you can't just stream you from your PC. You, get, you gotta... You gotta get capture cards for your consoles so you can play other games. That's how you get that's how you get YouTube famous, right? Well, yeah, sooner or later I'm gonna have to. I, I gotta stop being lazy and figure out how to do other shit. Like maybe start like doing playthroughs of PS4 games or Switch games. But like, legit, I don't really have a lot of money, so I can't afford a lot of things. Plus, I'm not that much of a technical genius either. Even though I am technically still in college for that, I still don't know a lot about how technical stuff works and shit. But yeah, eventually I'm just going to have to learn that, so I can be one of those big YouTube gamers. And then all I'd need is basically soundproof walls. You know, the one, like those ones that Markiplier and Jacksepticeye have. Oh shit, saw blades. 
Well, that's no surprise. I've been talking this whole time, so I knew they were there. But I thought this place was about explosions, not saw blades. Uh, it sucks you can't, like, duck. Um, are they gonna go away? I guess not. Oh well. Thank God for prevasion. Alright, that makes two. I'm not going to spend an entire video just looking for all... Sorry. Just hit my mic with the my hand. Yeah, I'm not going to spend an entire video just looking for all four of them in a stage. Because then I'll be here forever. So I'll probably just do that off screen. Like, when the time comes. Ah, uh, yeah! Got a big energy reading here! Hey boss! There's a warehouse nearby that looks like it's full of EN packs! Okay, I might want to use that ability on the boss. Because like Mega Man, these bosses have to have their own weaknesses. It was like that in Gunvolt 2. When Copen faced the bosses, there was always an EX ability that he used on a boss that was stronger than it was on another boss. So this this game sort of does carry that trope of Mega Man weaknesses. You just gotta figure out what boss is weak against what weapon. That's the only tedious part behind it. Or you just Google it, I guess. Since we have the internet now. Ah, might you be here to appreciate my fine art? Or are you some ruffian here to interfere with my masterpieces? If you don't hand over those EN packs, consider me the latter. That is most unfortunate. Everything here is set to explode in the most splendid artistic manner. I am Krim, pursuer of beauty, and the one who will light up this place in an exquisite blaze with my detonation septima. Have you heard the saying? Art is an explosion! Wait, wasn't it explosions should be artistic? No, 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 you've got it all wrong. It should be like this. Explosion is art! Yeah, more like that. You could learn a bit of two from Blast Man. Crim. Well, I guess either way is fine. Everything should be done with jaw-droppingly gorgeous artistic flair. Okay, so I guess he's got the affinity for explosions. The show is about to begin, and I'm gonna blow the roof off this place. Your death will be my next masterpiece. Whoa. Okay, it seems when he pulls up that shield, he cancels out my lock-on. You bastard. Whoa.
How do I even tell where those explosions are going to be? Maybe I should concentrate more on the fight here. Okay, this guy really loves to spam that shield of his, and it's really starting to get on my nerves. Exquisite artillery! Yee! Oh, okay, I see how it works. I guess, in a way, he kind of works like Viper. Because Viper sort of had a thing for explosions, too. <laughs> Did you see that? That right there is true art! What a stunning explosion! Art is detonation! What the hell, Lola? You're supposed to revive me. Ah, oh, boy. Yeah, this, 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 this guy is quite similar to Viper. It's just that... He... he uh, his explosions are more, like, nuclear and not fire-based. Yeah, the problem is, I don't really know where he's going to throw those. I guess I have to think before I strike him. Did he say bullet time? I swear I've heard that somewhere. Okay, you can't hurt him when he's doing this. Shit. Oh, this time she brought me back. Anthem! Too bad he can't dub double jump like Gunbolt can, because that would be really useful in this situation.
Yeah, I'm not really sure how you dodge those. You gotta get in the... The center of them, or what? Or between them? Doesn't matter. You're dead now. Now that is beautiful. Requiem Eternum! Phew, I'm glad that's over. That guy's whole vibe was sending chills down my circuits. And hey, the EN packs are safe. Bonus! Sumaragi goes the extra mile to make sure their EN packs stay in one piece. They're as safe as possible. Who knows what could have happened if that fight went any longer. Still, good thing Sumeragi's safety standards are so high. Everyone will be so stoked when we come home with these! Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got a crappy score on that stage. <clears throat> For technically dying twice. C, yeah. Because I got B on... Like, I got B on the last two stages. You got the EX weapon, Photon Detonator. Hmm, curious to see what that does. Oh, Lola, you dropped something. My jaw. Here you go. Is this a bell? Thanks, Kohaku. This is actually an enchanted bell. Enchanted bell? It's a charm passed down in Copen's family for generations. He says it gets in the way when he's in battle, so I keep it safe for him most of the time. Wow! If it's enchanted, that must really come in handy! How unscientific. It's never had any measurable effect. Hmm, is that so? I also have a charm I got from my family. And I can always feel it protecting me. You know, Kohaku, he says that it's unscientific, but he's held on to it all this time, so... Some part of him must believe in it. Ain't that right, boss? Yeah, yeah. Copen feels a warmth inside of him. Perhaps with all this warmth he feels inside of him, perhaps he'll be less emo and less squall-like by the end of the game. But I don't know, I kind of like him like this. I don't know, since I was an angsty teen myself... That's, that's why I like angsty teens in video games. So, take angsty teenagers, sexy girls, and Mega Man gameplay, and you've sold me. Anyways, can we unlock anything else? Bounty Hunter. Is there, like, a limit to how much I can equip at once, or can I just equip everything? Damn, that's a whole lot of money. Just for some extra bullets. But anyways, that's two... Two for each stage I've been in. I'm guessing the other two are very well hidden. And I just have to look like everywhere for invisible walls and shit. But anyways, I have a mechanic I'm doing for this playthrough as well. That I basically do for all my playthroughs. One level and one boss per video. So it doesn't get too lengthy. So, in other words, that's it for this video. So, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to comment, rate, subscribe, or all three. So until next time, this is Mega Metal Man X, signing out.